Welcome to Whiteboard Wednesday. Uh, I'm Pierre Thomas. I am engineering uh, director with Cadence uh, Design Systems. Today we are going to talk about the vector processing unit and the throughput capabilities associated with the Connex B10 and B20. In the previous uh, Whiteboard uh, Wednesday, we talked about uh, the B10, B20 and the uh, capability, the architecture, which is VLIW and CMD, meaning that several, uh, a single instruction is capable of processing on multiple data. And um, the size of the vector um, um, is specific to the B10 and the B20. So the B10 has 256 bit uh, for the vector length, and the B20 has 512 bit. Um, this is also uh, the size of the memory interface for the vector data that are coming in and out of the DSP and also uh, the vector cache when it's configured. Uh, what we are going to do here is to show how many elements are actually processed uh, for each SIMD based on the data types. So we talked about the fact that the Connex B10 and B20 is capable of supporting natively complex 16-bit, also complex 32-bit, but as well a uh, single precision floating point, or float 32, and um, half precision floating point, or float 16 data types. Now, looking into the B20 in a particular, with 512, vector lengths, how does it translate in the number of elements that needs to be processed once a CMD instruction is being executed by the DSP? So depending on the size, the data types that are being supported, we will have a different number of elements. So in the case of a 32-bit fixed point or a float 32, we are going to have 16 elements within the 512-bit vector. And for the 16-bit fixed point and the float 16, we will have uh, 32 of those. And for an 8-bit data types, we will have 64. So in fact, the CMD instruction will be able to process uh, 16 elements here, 32 16-bit elements, or 64 8-bit elements per cycle, meaning this is the throughput capability of the DSP. So in order to do this, the DSP has several processing units that you can see on this column. And we are going to uh, map here the number of processing units that are within the DSP in order to achieve a some certain throughput. So in the case of uh, uh, the 32-bit the processing, uh, we have actually 32 uh, MAC 32-bit that can be uh, executed per cycle. And we have also 32 uh, floating point um, FMS, so fuse multiply add, that could be executed uh, per cycle, which means that is actually uh, equivalent to 64 uh, floating point operations per cycle. Um, in, the, in the context of 16-bit uh, fixed point, uh, we have uh, 128 16-bit MAC operators. And then we have 64 um, float FMS for half precision. Or in other words, the capabilities of doing 128 floating point operations per cycle. Um, we also have uh, some uh, ILUs uh, capabilities, and we also have other uh, vector units, but in particular here I will point out some of the uh, ILU's uh, capabilities. We have 64 ILU to process 32-bit uh, data types or float 32. Um, we have 96 um, ILU's in order to process the 16-bit fixed point or float 16. And we have 192 ILU's for 
the 8-bit uh, data types. This is um, part of the vector processing unit that are available with the B10, B20. There are, of course, more uh, processing units also as well in order to be able to um, efficiently process uh, the digital signal processing necessary. Um, this is uh, summing up uh, this talk is showing the uh, throughput capability of the B10 and B20 in order to support the various data types, 16-bit, 32, uh, single precision floating point, and half precision floating point. Thank you for watching. See you next time.